It's lip filler day. I'll be seeing this man all the time. He's so fine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll let you know him for about 10 minutes while I chat you off. Okay? For the giveaway, I decided the theme of it is Talitha starter pack. <laughs> it's not a go out, it's a pop out. You feel me? I went crazy. Goodness, hello. Look hey, how y pretty she looks. And I look like this. What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are starting the vlog off kind of late in the week. It's Wednesday per usual. I just came back from the gym. I went to Bible study and I haven't really vlogged too much this week. I've been in like a very reset, like social media cleanse. Not cleanse, but like give me my space type of vibe. I haven't really been feeling like posting these days and it's not because I should, let me, let me be correct. I haven't been getting content because, okay, I didn't even plan on going into this deep of a rabbit hole right now. So I haven't been getting content and because I haven't been getting content, I've been posting content and I feel like behind, even though you can't really be behind. I won't say behind, I'll say like inactive. Been feeling very inactive on social media, especially Instagram and TikTok. I love getting content for those two and I just haven't done it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to do my hair myself, Ooh, fingers crossed. It's not myself doing it that's the problem, it's my hair because it really does what it wants. And you know, if you know, you know. But clearly I took my braids out last night. Tabitha helped me, thank God for Tabitha because I would probably still be taking them out if she didn't. Yesterday. This is a very humbling appearance to start a vlog. I apologize. I apologize to the vlog viewers because I come on camera looking any type of way and I feel bad because y'all watch it and I'm like, dang, I look crusty, you know? But I guess we're family. So like, does it really matter? No, but we are taking the braids out. I've had them in for exactly a month to this day. They're still cute, but it doesn't even look boho anymore. It looks undone. It looks like my hair is coming out the braids and like the new growth is getting to a point where it's like, yeah, girl it's time just take them out it is about nine o'clock i think i'm gonna go upstairs and have my mom and tabitha help me because <laughs> my mom is back from africa so we're gonna put her to work because there's no way i'm taking all these braids out by myself absolutely not and hopefully i can get a wig put on my head because y'all i haven't had a wig since my birthday my birthday in january and i even wore that for like i think literally three days oh let's go hair when I was um, 18, like after I graduated high school, I cut all my hair off, like probably had an inch of hair. So we are definitely glowing and growing. Let me go solicit some help. Cause what's the point of living at home if you can't have people help you? You know, when I move out, these will be my problems. But until that day, cleaned out my closet a little bit to make room for my very large designer haul. Hopefully it comes this week. If not, it'll be a next week's vlog for sure. I feel like the vlogs have been boring and I don't I don't know how to fix that because I'm not gonna stage things for social media. Dr. Phil would beg to differ. I'm trying to debate between washing my hair tonight or washing it tomorrow. I might wash it tonight and then attempt to do like a curly hairstyle just for the gym and then I'm gonna straighten it and I got some clippings. Oh I got some clippings. I'm excited. So we're gonna do the hair. That's what the, this is a hair vlog. <laughs> Going out tomorrow. Not like out out but it's like a R&B roller skating night and your girl cannot, I can skate barely barely but i'm gonna go i'm gonna have fun I'm gonna vibe tabitha's going neptune's going and it gives me a chance to get ready so i'm here for it i'm just giving y'all the layout of the week let's do it on friday i'm getting my lips done we'll talk more about that on friday i think it's like two in the morning 1 30 oh it's kind of early okay i can work with it i am starting to film my sponsored content that is literally due yesterday love that for me but um it's for yitty miss lizzo shapewear brand so don't get me wrong love 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 lizzo but i want to work with savage x fendi like 
that's like the dream brand did want to mention i am starting my mentoring up again i took a break just because <sighs> mental health reasons and how am i gonna help y'all when i wasn't even helping myself <laughs> so the link for that will be in the description box um it's 50 dollars for 45 minute phone call with me zoom call facetime call whatever works and we kind of just talk about social media and i answer your questions and then i make a personalized plan for you so yeah link down below these are the lights i use they're from amazon and i love them because it's like a battery see this one's like halfway don't look at my nails i'm about to do them tonight you just charge it and then you can like change its warmth so like cooler warmer and then the brightness as well so these will also be linked in my amazon shapewear and that can be worn out the house but not as doubling as a cover-up today is thursday happy thursday i'm on my way to the gym right now i'm in such a good mood because it's a nice day weather's nice I'm alive, you know, I'm present, I'm happy. Hey, I saw this um, challenge on TikTok. It's the week of no complaining. And pretty much every time you catch yourself complaining about something, you like interrupt the thought. And I realized I only complain about being tired and when I drive, I think I have like slight road rage or slightly, but you know, other than that, we're here with it. <laughs> I have the contacts in today. They're looking good. I really like how they like make my face look bigger tonight tabitha my friend emma and i and then neptune is meeting us there but go and roll this skating i'm so excited even though i can barely skate this is not an episode of roll bounce okay keep your expectations low but i'm just excited to go out it's a r&b night so like whenever so i have another cousin he's a dj and he's like a known DJ in Denver. He actually has a day in Denver. May 15th is Squizzy Taylor Day. That's crazy. Every time my cousin DJs, it's up. Like, it's up for real. And I love being around other black people because it's so, there's like eight of us out here, you know? So when the eight of us pop out, it's a good time. So I'm gonna go to the gym real quick. I'm gonna wash my hair. We're gonna straighten it. We're gonna put some clippings in there and just do it all up, do the makeup. Cause you know, I don't go out often. So when I do, it's not a go out, it's a pop out. You feel me? Yeah, we got the, the peach Celsius. Also, I did my nails last night. Don't look at my broken nail. I'm trying to let it grow back. But we did the chrome with the little crosses on it. That's cute, isn't it? Real cute. I'll link this nail polish as well as the nail decals in my Amazon storefront. But it's hot, so I'm about to open the windows back up. <laughs> Y'all, it's an empty gym today. The parking lot has never been this empty. It looks emptier than it does on the Saturday. And that's what I'm here for, hopefully. Fingers crossed, there's like actually nobody in here. Besides my gym crush, y'all, I be seeing this man all the time and I'm like, oof. But he works here and I can't flirt with someone who works here because if it goes bad I have to see him all the time and if it goes well you're on the job and I have to see you all the time it's a double-edged sword you know my plan of action is when I'm about to move I'm gonna slip him a little note or something no I'm not <laughs> ah, but he's so fine oh my gosh Salita's not dating right now she's single and she is ready to mingle but I'm not I'm not um, initiating anything just how I know it's from God because God will send him to me I'm not going out of my way to get him we're very much receiving you know the women are designed to receive and baby I'm going to receive everything shoot so yeah as much as oh this man is so fine y'all mm. <laughs> but you know we we move we move sorry i didn't vlog in the gym but it's okay because y'all have seen the gym routine before and truth be told i'll be back tomorrow so it really don't even matter but right now i'm about to get my lip threaded i do get my lip threaded just because she got so you see that's a mustache kinda it's enough for me to want it gone and because i'm getting my lips done tomorrow i'm like I probably should get it done before I get my lips done. I'm excited, you guys. I'm so excited. We'll talk about the lips later, but we're just gonna get the hair off. Okay, now watch the face be done in three, two, one. Oh, no more Steve Harvey. Look how smooth that is. She even did the bottom. I never got my lip threaded and they did the bottom too. No mustache, no beard, period. <laughs> now I'm gonna go home and the struggle begins. I gotta deal with my hair. That is always 
either it goes very well or it's a struggle and I'm just hoping that it goes well I'm just hoping that it goes well I am filming for TikTok too, so the camera is behind you in case I start looking there. But y'all, yeah, I decided I'm gonna just go for it. We're gonna do the braid down and see what happens. I've never braided down my own hair before. Like, I can't even cornrow. Okay, this is all hopes and prayers and literally Jesus. I didn't know I could braid until today. Yes, you learn a couple things, getting your hair done so often, you kind of just pick up. You can't tell me that's not bad. For my very first time, oh, we are saving money on hair this year. What time is it? Oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking it's 7.20, girl, it's 7.40. Really think you're getting warm past me, I gotta feed it, oh. I love that song, if it wasn't clear. I don't know if y'all have noticed this, but I stopped cussing. Cause like, I've never been like a super profane person. It was a goal in mine of the beginning of 2023 20, to just stop completely and I do slip up. I say hell, I don't know if hell's a bad word. But that's like my one pass. <laughs> My arm is tired and this last braid is the hardest. And I have these freaking charms on my nails. I think I showed y'all the nails. It's making it so hard to braid because my hair keeps getting stuck on them. For it to be my first braid down, don't look at the parts, don't look at the back. But like, I think I did a pretty decent job. So now I'm just gonna pin these up. I was gonna sew it down, but I don't have time. So we're not doing that tonight. Okay, it might not give like silk press. It might give like, a few day old silk press. Oh, that was hot. But it'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. <sighs> that was hot. Clip and go. <laughs> I'm really banking on these clip ins to do your. Not it looking like my hair. Hi. <laughs> I look half done. <laughs> oh, you look cute! Hi, Emma! You want to say hi to my vlog? Goodness, hello! Look how pretty she looks, and I look like this. I was I'm like, running so late! <laughs> I was like, she's like, yeah, I'm gonna just finish getting ready. I said, okay, I'm gonna go see what the other one do it, because she's probably not even done. No! For real. Tiberius, you are too big. Get in there. It was rushed. <laughs> it's getting there, though. Okay, hairstylist. You know, this is my first time braiding my own hair down. <gasps> so really? it was God because I yeah. played no part in that. Look, I'm happy I bought two because that first pack was not going to cut it. Okay, it would have been a put a hat on type of night. It still might be, to be honest with you. We make it progress. We make it progress. The contacts are doing it. Is this not hot? Emma, you see? You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. I didn't turn it on. It's okay. We good. Here's the outfit. I ended up putting a hat on just because I know when I start sweating. We ain't gonna take that risk. But we have the cute little... It really pulled through with my outfit, y'all, because it was touch and go for a second. But we figured it out. I know, I everybody so it is Friday it's lip filler day and I'm kind of I'm not nervous I think I'm more nervous for how it's gonna look <laughs> the pain is never really an issue for me 1034 I want to leave in like 20 minutes I'm just about done getting ready I just want to put like lashes on so last night let's talk about last night I don't even know if you heard me say it but I switched out my um camera battery right before we left 
and I bought a dead one. I didn't bring a charged battery, so fumbled the bag on that. Did meet someone, I forgot to um, ask for her name, but what's up girl because i know you're watching this <laughs> i love when you guys like come up to me it makes my day i might look kind of mean and it's not for y'all it's for the men because i don't want the men coming up but if you see me say hi okay because i put on the you know around men when is y'all involved oh, we all family over here so if you see me please come say hi i literally love it it makes my day the hair is done i was able to like fully do the clip-ins the way I want them to look. They're still not perfect because I'm trying not to put heat on like my actual hair, but I think it looks good. Is it? It's giving natural. I kind of want to get a longer set. I have the 20, not 20, 16 inches in, and I think I want to get a 20 and do like 20 on the bottom and then 16 on top. Cause it's giving, <laughs> it's giving mine. And the lips are gonna be the one that they're a little spicy, okay? So we'll, we'll numb you up. I will tell you that our numbing cream is excellent. What's also nice is that the filler also has lidocaine or numbing inside mm -hmm. of it. So usually as we go, um, it gets uh, you know significantly easier. Okay. If at any point you need a break, just kind of raise your hand and I'll stop injecting. Otherwise, this goes pretty fast. You have like kind of a little dimple in your chin. Um, do you love that? Like, I don't want to fill it if you love um, it. <laughs> yeah, we can keep it. Okay, okay. Because this with the chin, um, sometimes if you put a little bit of filler there, that might make it a little less noticeable. The, the little well, rather though, so I would hate to I didn't know I had fill it. it if you don't. Yeah, yeah I'll keep like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I feel it numbing already. Yeah, it works good. good. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, girl, our numbing cream is excellent. Yeah, we'll let you numb for about uh, ten minutes while I chat your ear off. Okay. Okay. It includes two syringes of Versa, mm -hmm. which is one of my very favorite fillers to use, um, especially in the lip. I just think I like that it's a little softer than some of our other fillers, so you don't feel so hard while you're healing. Mm -hmm. I would say Versa on average can, um, it's indicated up to a year, but I always tell people, I think, you know, it can last anywhere from six to 12 months. And the reason I say that is because not everyone's the same as far as like your metabolism. Some people mm -hmm. just metabolize filler a little faster. But on average, should be lasting you about six months up to a year, okay? okay. Um, I think it's good to do like maybe maintenance on your lips like every six months anyway. That mm -hmm. way you're sort of, you know, kind of keeping the shape and the size. You just kind of build onto what you have instead of starting over. And when you come back, like say you come back in a few weeks for a follow up and you decide you want to add a little bit more, then you could do like, we sell half syringes as well. Okay. Then you could do like the halves because they, they sort of start to build up really pretty. Mm -hmm. um, but for the initial, Time, I do usually recommend the first like once or inch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I mean, it's your first time, so yeah. understandable. Um, I think you're gonna really love it though. I tell everyone like with the lips, especially, it's like wow, it's, it can be you can get a little addicted. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people fall in love with them when they're swollen. Mm -hmm. You're gonna either love or hate the swelling. Some mm -hmm. people love it, mm -hmm. and then they go down and they're like, oh, I'm kind of sad. Mm -hmm. And then some people hate it, and then they go down and they're happy. But regardless, it's gonna go down. So just be patient mm -hmm. with that process. But your lips feel pretty numb. Yes. Thank okay. You. All right, girl, let's get you clean. Just bear with me because it's going to be a little spicy, but it's going to be good. <laughs> uh, the Ola's tops are always like spicy. The lippies are done. That happened so fast. Okay, let's talk about it. So they are very swollen right now. I feel like I'm giving between handsome squid word and flappy bird. Like, but why am I not mad at it though? Like swollen, they're still kind of cute. So I know when the swelling goes down, they're gonna look great. I ended up getting my chin done because they had a package deal that you could get literally your lips and chin for the price of just your lips. I paid, I think $8.99 for both of them, which is good because some people pay like, 750 for just their lips i just really like having a top lip now like i don't know it's like a confidence booster and i didn't know i needed it so i feel really good about my choices i love it so i went to vivid beauty clinic here well denver north Glen area um i will link their instagram down below i went to annalise and she did great like look at the shape look at the shape on them things they look good I will preface this video by saying I am choosing to share this on social media. I do not have to. Please do not leave any negative comments because I will block you. 
thanks for tuning in if you are thinking about getting filler getting your body done getting whatever you want done girl do it or boy do it we don't judge again if you're doing it for you and it's something that you genuinely want there's no harm no foul so just that tax return money <laughs> but right now i'm gonna go to um plato's closet i have some clothes that i ew, this jaw y'all that was that was rough that was rough but i really like it <laughs> i think it's starting to wear off because i'm talking I was leaving the um, FedEx store and I met somebody. She was like, is that Talitha Jane in the flesh and blood? Yo, it happened so fast. If you're watching this, hey, thank you for saying hi. See, I love it when y'all come say hi to your girl. And the lips, I was like, girl, don't look at the lips. Don't look at the lips. But yeah, that was just made my day. this saturday yesterday i filmed an entire haul but i filmed it in slow motion and when you film things in slow motion for some reason the audio doesn't capture so i have to refilm it again today i love that for me Stay on the lips they are not as swollen as they were yesterday when i went to bed yesterday you guys they were huge and i was like what is going on here they're still really big though and i need them to like not look like this <laughs> but i am getting ready to go to the gym hence the outfit i don't really want to do makeup i'm gonna put the contacts in that's what i'm gonna do today i was kind of like hesitant to go to the gym because i go there a lot so people are gonna like recognize me and they're gonna be, you know i really don't care what they think but at the same time it's like i don't like unnecessary attention on me at least today i'm doing like a lot of um body weight workouts so i'll be in like one of the studio rooms so there's not typically too many people in there for the contacts i'm gonna see if i can find them on amazon because i get a lot of questions about where are they from they're from donut contacts but i wonder if they have an amazon store i'm gonna look it up and see if you have your lips done let me know how long it takes they said two weeks is like the full healing time but like how long does it take for the swelling to go down or like for them not to feel like the best way I can describe this feeling is like, like you're blowing up a balloon and it's getting so big to the point where like you know it's about to pop and you can't put no more air in there so you stop and tie it up. Like that's what my lips feel like right now. I just ripped my contacts. Did I rip it or is that a hair? Please be a hair. Nope, I ripped it. Well, well. <laughs> Whoever commented and told me to put the sausage in the air fryer, you did something with that. So we got the oatmeal with the protein powder and then sausage, chicken sausage. We are going to film the haul that I filmed yesterday, but now we're refilming. This camera does what it wants to do. When it's in slow motion, it doesn't capture audio. So even if I sped it up, you wouldn't be able to hear it. So we're back. I'm back in on better. Speaking of back in better, y'all, Bryson Teller's going on tour and he's coming to Denver Monday. I bought a ticket, but they released meet and greet. And I'm like, that's my man. Bryson Teller's my favorite artist. So I'm like, do I buy it? It's $500. I've spent more on other things, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna do the Gymshark part first. We're all aware of Talitha's Gymshark obsession, but this, I've never had these type of shorts before. So like, we're gonna try them out and see. They have like this scrunch on them where you pull it to make them shorter, which I might do, you know, like free the thigh. Well, I don't know, cause I got big thighs and I don't know if that needs to be out there. How scrunched does it get? Yeah, see, I can't do that. Or maybe I can. Maybe it might just be better if I did 
and then I don't have to worry about it rolling up because it's already up. I don't know if I, how I feel about these in public, <laughs> but they're still really cute though. I might be a little crazy, but this one fits a lot better. I like this. And then I took the straps off on the back, so it's like a complete open halter top. This is the gym outfit for Monday. I like it. Moving into my luxury purse haul. This is the first one. It's a Louis, a Louis Vuitton. Like that's so cute. Like it's just so, so fire. My favorite part is the strap says Louis Vuitton on it. A very subtle, but like still very out there if you know, you know. And we know, cause we're bougie women. We're affluent, we're wealthy. Okay, like this is up our alley. Starts in the mind kids. The only L I take is before the V. I saw that on Instagram. So I went crazy. So the second, oh my gosh y'all. She's like a denim, denim and gold type of moment. This is fire. Y'all, I've been planning an all denim look for Instagram. You know it wouldn't be Talitha Jane if we didn't do a neon moment. Literally the same purse, but it looks like a tennis ball. Yeah, the yellow, like, oh my freaking gosh. I am obsessed, obsessed isn't even the word to describe it. I was running out of room, so I started taking the purses out of the boxes and like breaking the boxes down until I get my closet room. Because when I get my closet room, baby, it's gonna be a whole display. But this purse, we had to keep in the box. My new favorite, favorite, favorite purse. And that says a lot. Parents, you know, you shouldn't have a favorite child, but we all know there's a favorite. In this case, it's Tabitha. Look at it. It's this silver Louis Vuitton trunk bag. Look at this. I feel like this purse just screams money. Literally purses, flowers, and shoes. Like at my future husband, I doubt you're watching this. That's the key to my heart. That's all you gotta do. At least material wise, I'm giving you the answers. This wouldn't be a purse haul without the Balenci. So Balenciaga is one of my favorite designer brands because I just love the look of their things. I don't know, it's like different, but it's still cute, very edgy. Yeah, I just needed, them. I didn't need them. I wanted them. And as you can see, the collection, well not, it's not complete complete. Doesn't that look nice? Ever since I bought that necklace in Houston, I have been literally in love with Louis Vuitton jewelry. I bought these earrings, they're heavy. I don't know how they expect people to wear these. Louis V hoops. In the great words of Cardi B, buy them both, I don't gotta choose. So I also got the silver pair. Hey, look at that, that's so pretty. Did I need this? No. Honestly, this entire haul, I didn't need any of it, but I got this chain. You can only tell if you're up close. I don't even know if it's showing up on camera. It's like engraved with the Louis LV. But like, this is fire. Oh my gosh, with the purse? Is that overkill? Man, my freaking lips. The swelling is going down, but they need to like go down a little more. And my hair, I thought these would be cute, but I look like a clown. We got the matching bracelet. I didn't even take it out the plastic. Whip me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. I do not show any of these things to like brag or come off as like, I am materialistic just a little bit, I'm not even gonna hold you. But like, it's never too, with malicious intent, you know? I love you guys and I'm so thankful for your support because without it, I wouldn't be able to buy any of these things and the fact that my youtube channel got deleted and y'all still came back crazy so thank you for just your support and we all know views lead to money that's how this works so i just appreciate it and it does not go unnoticed also thankful to god because let's see who really did he him period <laughs> and speaking of youtube channel i am doing a giveaway when we hit 20,000 subscribers which is probably gonna be this week because we're getting close for the giveaway i decided the theme of it is to leave the starter pack <laughs> so you guys are going to literally get everything i rave about and like all of my favorite things ooh, ooh, ooh. My knees. One of the gifts is like the Brazilian bum bum lotion. Y'all know I love that. I'm giving y'all a Gymshark gift card because did I not just do a Gymshark haul? Yeah. I still have to figure out like the details of everything, but I think I want to include a purse in there. I just hauled six purses. I feel like that is in the Talitha starter pack. If you have recommendations of what I should include, let me know. Or like a perfume too. We can get into that. But yeah, I feel like y'all know me better than I know myself sometimes, so let me know. Oh, I also bought shoes. Am I gonna show y'all the shoes I bought? I don't feel like it. 
Mm, I'm gonna show you because I know there's gonna be that one person that's like, Talitha, why didn't you just show us the heels? I got you. Pink, like mule pump type of deal. They're denim with like a gold toe. My new favorite thing is heelless heels. You see that? Yeah. That actually concludes my haul. I'm gonna take a break from talking because it's starting to hurt my, my lippies. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about it. Like, I don't mind it. I just, like swollen they're cute so i know that when they're not swollen they're gonna look amazing later i am going to end the vlog here but i didn't give shout outs last week so i'm gonna give some more tonight y'all i just you know sometimes i get tired and i'm like the last thing i want to do is make this video longer so i have to stay up later and edit more like i just y'all <laughs> mental <laughs> emotional damage you can win a shout out for me by commenting the green heart on my instagram page also i kind of want to like make it a little more a little more hard <laughs> like the criteria baby the standards are high the criteria is high so i think what i'm gonna start doing is saving my post like the post that goes up that week it helps creators when you save their content and then i can see a list of people who saved my post via comment the green heart and save the picture yeah that's what it is i'm really 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 gonna try to do lots of content next week i just feel like i have been half i don't like that phrase i feel like i've been bsing my instagram content recently and i don't like that for us so we're gonna like actually have a content week next week the first shout out is going to kira douglas thank you for watching the vlogs oh those boots are cute those are really cute. That's the lips I want. Your lips look good. And the skin is glowing. You look good, girl. The second shout out is going to Rose Star. Oh, but she's private. Ah, found it. Did some digging. But girl, you look good in this blue dress, giving the girl's body. And your skin is glowing too. It's something in the water, I swear. And the third and final shout out is going to Nocifo, I want to say. Why would that happen right now? As a creator, you kind of like see and recognize usernames of people who are consistently commenting and consistently come and watch every single thing you do. And she's one of them. Like, I, she's a Talitha Jane stan and I'm here for it. And girl, it's giving SZA. Like, you are, tell me this isn't Solana, you know? I see the resemblance and I'm here for it. Oh, you were at Kochichi? You went the second weekend though. I went the first weekend. We could have met. Thank you for watching the vlog. Thank you all so much for your support and for being here. Hopefully next time you see me, my lips won't look like this. Hopefully they'll look a little better. <laughs> and I'm just gonna say it right now. Thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers. It's crazy that we've only been on this channel for two months, two months going on three and we're already at 20K. By the end of the year, we're gonna have another one of those. Where is it? Right there. That's the goal. But I love you guys and I will see you all next Sunday with a new video.